Ideology is prevalent in all films. There is a constant underlying idea that a filmmaker is consciously or unconsciously applying to their work. An ideology can be defined as a system of ideas that cohesively form a central belief. Some movies assert the dominant mindset of the era, like the pro-Reaganism and militarism ideologies in Tony Scott's Top Gun, whereas some films demonstrate an emerging ideology that counters widespread beliefs, such as the racial commentary in Jordan Peele's Get Out. Ideologies are communicated in films through codes and conventions, elements ranging from the imagery used in a scene to the dialogue between two characters are some of the tools that directors use to convince and expose their audience to an ideology. Due to the medium's popularity and effectiveness, films can be used as a powerful weapon of conveying ideology, and as such, they are able to enlighten and mobilize audiences across the world. In this video essay, I will attempt to deconstruct these ideas, using Top Gun and Get Out as vehicles to exemplify these theories in action hopefully giving you a better understanding of how our perception of the world is affected by the media we consume. Any era in history has within it a dominant and emergent ideology. Things that express these opposing ideologies, political climates and current affairs, will directly influence the content expressed in narrative. The dominant ideology during Top Gun's development in the 80s was Reaganism. During his term as president from 1981 to 1989, Ronald Reagan embodied a vision of a powerful government and in turn, a powerful America. Reagan's focus on the military was most prevalent during the Cold War. With tensions as high as ever between the US and Russia, America had to pertain a vigorous appearance against the enemy. Essentially a chest buffing contest, both nations maintained an exterior that exerted a willingness to engage in combat, though never doing so. These ideals and beliefs that dominated America are embedded within Top Gun. The admiration of individualism mixed with ego is found in the film's protagonist, Maverick, the handsome and idealized pilot. You and I, the audience, are told to respect and admire Maverick, furthermore, the people in the world he represents. Reaganism favors those that are willing to express individualism as long as it aligns with the government's ideals. This is a major characteristic of Maverick. While Top Gun embodies the dominant ideology of the 80s, Get Out represents the emergent ideology of today's modern world. Peel criticizes the current dominant ideology, the belief that the days of oppression for people of color are fading and that we should be content with the progress made. Get Out juxtaposes this through an emergent ideology that comments that there is still adversity faced by minorities in this post-Obama world. It realizes that while progress is being made, it is still nowhere near the standard of equality. Racial groups are still marginalized, and in the worst cases, attacked or killed for their appearance. The murders of innocent young African Americans such as Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown act as evidence that issues regarding race are still prevalent in today's society. All of these external factors, the political climate, current affairs, and cultural events have a pivotal influence on the ideology of films. Through the tools of codes and conventions, a director is able to convey an emotion or idea to their audience. The beginning of Top Gun presents us with an idealized view of the military, enforcing that pro-Reaganism ideology. The film's introduction showcases a montage of pilots and aircraft preparing for flight. Scott's decision to use the silhouettes of the pilots removes them of any defining qualities. This creates the appearance that any one of us could be a pilot, and two, look majestic and heroic in front of a backdrop of dawn. The imagery combines the two ideals of man and machine, creating a symbiotic relationship between the pilots and their planes. Reaganism promotes the melding of the past and the future. This is achieved through blending tradition and classic American values with the modernity and technology of the new age. Thus, the pilots and their planes work in unison to combine the two Reaganist ideas. Get Out challenges our dominant ideology through a mixture of subtle and overt cinematic techniques. The subtlety shines as Dean reveals his fascination to Chris of immersing himself in other cultures. I'm a traveler and I can't help it. I, can, I keep bringing souvenirs back. It's 
such a privilege to be able to experience another person's culture. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The small line of dialogue is teeming with racial connotations, not only in the context of the film, but also with the ideology Peel aims to tackle. Dean's delivery of the dialogue is nonchalant and seemingly unimportant. It's a remark he makes that is intended to be overlooked, yet it holds a significant truth. Europeans have historically colonized and robbed the values of other cultures, appropriating them for themselves or banishing them entirely. The ideology of colonialism has remained dominant in the past, that now has lessened in its intensity. Its modern day iteration comes in the form of cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation is the act of a dominant culture taking elements from a minority culture. Get Out showcases this quite literally through taking bodies of black people and inserting the minds of white people into their bodies. It is a heightened example of cultural appropriation, which in turn makes it abundantly clear to the audience that the dominant ideology and its invisible racism exists and is warped. Dominating the US box office, Top Gun was a hit to the audiences of the 80s. The film grossed over $170 million, demonstrating that viewers of the time had a clear demand for films that celebrated America and its glorious ideals. In turn, millions of individuals were exposed to its ideologies of Reaganism and militarism. The US Navy had a direct contribution in the production of Top Gun. The Navy supplied resources such as large set pieces and aircraft, and in turn, the Navy was given the ability to influence the script. For instance, the character of Charlie was altered from being an enlisted member of the Navy to a civilian contractor working with the Navy. This decision was made as a result of the Navy's prohibition of relationships between personnel. The collaboration worked, and after the film's release, naval aviators went up by 500%. That being said, audiences of today would likely have a difficult time connecting with the film. Its use of overused tropes and cliches are now considered cheesy, and more importantly, the ideology it tries to convey to the audience is no longer as relevant as it was before. In contrast, Get Out held a light to the dominant ideology, questioning the legitimacy of the close to perfect society we live in. Through embracing familiar narrative and cinematic techniques from horror and comedy genres, the audience is able to easily connect and predict the rhythm of the film, only to have their perceptions subverted and tested. Through these techniques, Peel's emergent ideology is easier for audiences to swallow. Much to Peel's surprise, Get Out was a cultural phenomenon. People of all creeds embraced the film's introspective racial commentary. In 2018, the film received a prestigious Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. And as a result, Jordan Peel became the first African American to win the award. Driven by dominant and emergent ideology, films will continue to shift and change as ideologies do. Media codes and conventions will too develop and continue to act as vessels to express these ideologies in films. And audiences around the world will persist in accepting or rejecting the messages these films convey. While Top Gun and Get Out are two strikingly different films, their interaction with ideology bonds them together both films have and will act as a representation of the ideas present in our society. As we humans continue to attain beliefs, films will be right there with us, acting as an insight into our world.